All right, well here's how to make an origami crane. What you're gonna need is a square sheet of paper and most typically you're gonna find yourself with paper that isn't square. So I'll show you how to square up a piece of paper for you to get started. And then I'm also gonna show you some little bit fancier paper you can use to make cranes. It already comes square that you can buy from places like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and other arts and crafts stores. So here's a typical letter size, eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. And in order to make it square, what you want to do is take one corner, any corner really, and then line it up exactly by making a point on one side. And then you sort of see this line down here, like here's the corner. You want to make it exactly lined up with the bottom. And then once you line it up with the bottom, you're going to sort of start with this corner and you're going to make it flat and you're going to keep this held down making sure it continues to stay parallel. And you're just going to slowly make it straight. So now you can see that it's something that's folded over completely. And then what this is, it's an exact triangle you need. And so what you want to do is you literally want to cut off the excess, which is this right here. So one thing to do first is you don't have really a reference as to where that line is. So with this folded up just like that, you're going to take this and fold it behind so you can exactly know where the line is that you need to cut. So if you start here, fold it behind and press down, you can even put it on the table and just make sure that you do little by little pressing down to line it up. So look at the other side. It's also flat against it. And then when I turn this over, here's your square sheet of paper. And here's the part that you need to cut off. Now you can take scissors to it. But what I like to do is I like to take my thumbnail and pinch it kind of hard and run it across just like that. And then I'll make sure I do that the entire length of it. And what that does is it makes it really stressed at that crease. And if I start to pull it up here, it pulls down without having to use any scissors, which is real nice. So then what you have is a perfectly square sheet of paper. And of course, it doesn't just work for eight and a half by 11s. It also works for any other kind of stuff. Like if you went to a hotel and you had a little pad or you get something from somewhere else. So literally all you have to do is just Line it up, turn over the side that's not part of the square, and you see that it's not. And then you just cut it right off, and there it is. So there's your perfect square, and that's where you can start making the crane and everything. So. <clears throat> What I have though is for origami and for anything else uh, is square sheets of paper. Sometimes they'll come in big sizes, smaller sizes. I recommend working with the big one to start out with, kind of like the eight and a half by 11. Um, but some paper that you can buy in packs just have all these different colors if you want to do some art project with the origami. Um, string up the birds one by one behind each other. I don't know, there's some cool stuff you can do. But what I'll be using in this video is just uh, this kind of artistic looking stuff. I, I guess this is about six inches by six inches and um, there's just different things you can you can get on the sheets of paper. We'll do one that's a, uh, let's see, we'll do like a one that looks kind of musical. So we'll do that one. So in order to make a crane, here's your square sheet of paper and we want this to be on the outside. So if you know what side that you want on the outside, let's say it's a piece of paper you have that has colors on it and the back side is white, kind of like this one, then what you're going to want to do is to make sure that the side you want facing out so everyone can see is the side that's on the bottom. So we want this, the part of the bird that's seen, and then everything else that's white is going to be on the underside. So we start with the white side up and the outside facing down. And then just like I did made the regular size square sheet of paper, I'm going to also fold this. But of course, since it's already square, I'm just lining it up. And then I'm flattening it out into a triangle. 
just like that. So you made a flat triangle. Of course, if I open it up, you know, it's the square again, but now it's back to the triangle shape. So then what you do when you have the triangle is you're gonna make this kind of a smaller triangle by folding this onto this corner. So there you go. You've made a smaller triangle, if you will. And if I open it up, there's that, and there's that. So you basically you made an X, but fold it down, fold it over, and there's your triangle. Now this is the easiest part. It gets a little bit trickier after this, but you'll be able to get it no problem. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is when you look at the triangle, you can kind of like just let it hang loose and you'll see that there's these little pockets inside. So there's one pocket, there's another pocket. If you can think about this being kind of like stuck down to the bottom, like imagine something's holding it there, then you have like the two pockets I was talking about. So what you're gonna to to do is either one, you can hold down this side first or this side, but you're gonna to wanna to take this and we're gonna push this top part onto this bottom part down here. So this is gonna remain flat, as flat as it can be. You can even rub your finger on the inside like that. And you're gonna take this part and you're gonna bring it down to the very bottom. And then you're gonna take the top here and kind of press it in and then you're gonna run your finger alongside here to make the edges nice and flat. So what you see that happened is I actually took this because it was like this, we opened it up, we folded it down, and then we have this flat on there. So we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So what you wanna do when you have this you just flip it over and then you're gonna to want to sort of isolate this one part. So here's the bottom part that you just did. There it is. Then you're gonna take this and just like we did on the other side, you're going to put your finger in there like that. You can kind of push it in to make sure that there's plenty of room to go ahead and push it down so there we are at this tip, and then we push it down up here, and then we smooth out the edges again. And so this looks like a square, but really think of it as a diamond or something, because if you look at the underside, this is what you get right here. Okay, so once you do this step, you leave it like this, so you can see that it, you know, is kind of like that. Then what we're gonna do is something that's a little bit trickier than what we just did, but don't worry, you're gonna get it. It's not that bad. So just think of these as the wings, because that's what these are gonna become. This one and this one is gonna be the wings, and this one and this one is gonna become the tail. And you'll see it more as you keep doing it. So what you wanna do is sort of hold it down and open up one of these again. This is the one we just folded down. So what you do is you're gonna take this side that goes up just like that, and you're gonna fold it in so that this is all parallel with the center, and I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna take it, and we're gonna start, let's say at the bottom. It doesn't matter if you start at the bottom or the top. I think the bottom is a lot easier to start with. So if you see, what I'm doing is I'm folding this edge that was right on the outside here, I'm folding it inwards to be exactly parallel with the middle line that's running down the center. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And the more you do with these, uh, the easier it becomes. And you can, it's almost like the paper folds itself. But when you first start out, it's gonna be a little bit slow. So you keep going along the middle line, kind of as much as you can before it starts to get wonky up here. And then you can go ahead and do it with the other side too. So I'm taking this and I'm folding it along the middle right there. Just like that. And so now this is essentially halfway done. It's started to fold along the center and I need to do it up here too. I recommend not continuing to do it and then moving up. I always like kind of going up here and then folding it along this middle ridge. So I'm using the line that's on top there. And so this line on the back side is what I'm gonna be using to fold along the center of. So here we go. 
folding it along the center, and then I'm taking this one in, and I am also folding it along the center. And as you'll see, this is kind of arced up, and if I look at the back of this, it's, it's getting there. It's definitely almost to where it needs to be. But what I'm gonna do is just keep taking this and pulling it down, and on the back side, you'll see finally it becomes sort of flat, and I can move it up like that. So that's the, what the final product is gonna look like. So again, this is where it was, was down here. And then what we did was we folded it up, we folded the bottom two parts on the inside, and then we folded the top two parts on the inside, and then we worked our way towards the middle, and now we have it looking like this. And just like we did before, where we flipped it the other side and we did the same thing, we're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm flipping it, and now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm taking this, kind of opening it up, making it easy to work with, I'm folding this in the center. And I'll fold this in the center. And then I'm taking it on the top. Holding this on the center and the top. And then I'm just working my way to the edges and then pushing it up. And what you have is two exactly duplicated sides. So that's that. And this is what it looks like. If you kind of open up the top here, you see this triangle in the middle. And so then what you're going to want to do is, and some people can go ahead and start folding up here but I think the cranes look a lot better when you make an additional fold right here in the middle, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here it is, right side up. Again, this triangle is kind of on top when it's right side up. These are just gonna be the, uh, the tail and the head, and rather the tail and then the neck and head. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take kind of the inside of this right here, if you can think of, the, see this flap, and you're gonna to wanna to bring it along the midline here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm taking this flap right here, and then I'm bringing it on the midline, just like that. Just like that. And when you do that, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that there's kind of these two folds there, and that just makes it look a little bit better. It's gonna make the crane have a slimmer tail and a slimmer neck. So you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Again, I just folded this over to here. Now I'm gonna fold this over to here. And then all the way down. Yep, you just press everything down, make sure all the edges are nice and crisp and pressed down. And so that's what it looks like both of these edges folded inwards, and then you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So I take this, and I fold this edge in, just like that. And then I'm folding this edge in as well. All right, and there you have it before we start the final part of the crane. So you just kind of gonna make sure it looks like this. Again, if I open this up, it's still kind of that triangle on top. Um, but then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do what's called, I think it's a reverse fold. I'm not sure about the origami terminology. But what you're gonna wanna do is kind of, you can hold it in the center like this and start to open it up here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is sort of fold one of these sides completely upward, and you'll, you'll get some resistance because right about here, I don't know if you can tell, but right about there is where you can't pull up anymore or else you'll start ripping the paper, and you can feel that. You'll be able to feel that you can't possibly pull this up anymore. So you pull it up from here to here, and then what you want to do is fold it in this direction so it's kind of like, like this right here. So again, 
we've gone from this to opening it up, folding it upwards, and then folding it in, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna open it up, fold it upwards, and then fold it along the inside, just like that. All right, and then you just press it down around the bottom for sure, just to make sure that there's nothing that's a little bit loose. Pressing it down, and then you just decide which end that you want the head to be, because one's gonna be the tail, one's gonna be the head. I'm gonna make this the head, and I guess about, if you think about this in thirds, about one third from the top, which is about there, let's say, you wanna take this, flatten it out a little, and then move a piece of the head down. Then you fold it along the line. So then what you get is you get a little crane, you take the wings, you open it up a bit, and there you have it, a nice crane. I guess if you move the tail and the head back and forth, it also flaps its wings. But I hope this was a really helpful tutorial. I know it was a little bit long, but I just wanted to go nice and slow for you. Um, I guess if you ever find videos of me doing something like this in the future and you're just a whiz at it, you can go at two times speed. And yeah, I'll be talking fast, but I'll also be teaching you faster that way too. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you really like the video, please subscribe, please like it. And um, I'd love to keep making stuff like this for you in the future. So just uh, give me a comment and I'll also comment back. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for watching.